Okay, this is the basics on how to create your own image hose brush. Um, Corel Painter already comes with uh, some image hose brushes already included in the program. Um, what you want to do, go ahead and click on the image hose brush. These are all the brushes you have to choose from in Painter, and the image hose brush is the one that looks like a hose, a green hose. So click on that, and then go ahead over to your little selectors here, where you have the paper, the patterns, all that kind of stuff right in here. Click on the lower right hand corner one and I'm going to go ahead and pick the, oh, I'll pick the birds one. And I'll go ahead and increase my brush size just a little bit so you can kind of see them. And you can see you can, in this case, paint with birds. Yay. And depending on what kind of uh, variant you're, you're working from, just like all the other brushes, you have the hose here, the brush we're using, and then you have the, all the variants to kind of choose from. Uh, depending on the variant is how it's going to actually come out of the brush. You know, whether it's going to be very random or whether it's going to be like all in a line, whether it's going to be in a spray. Uh, there's various ways of actually applying these things. And some are much more sensitive to the press pressure. I'll go ahead and uh, backspace here. And you can see with this one, looks like I have the image hose spray, spray size P angle W. And then you can see the you know the less pressure I apply, the the smaller the birds are, and then the more pressure, the the bigger they are. And then you can also increase the uh, the brush size if you want to. Anyway, how to create your own? Uh, you can do this with um, uh, photographic images, or you can do it with uh, paint strokes, whatever you want to do. Just to make this simple, I'm just going to do this uh, with um, just some marks that I make with a pastel. So to begin with, what you want to do, go ahead and let's get a couple of new layers here. So uh, create some layers. And I'm going to go ahead and just get a whole bunch going on here because basically the, the hose is made with uh, multiple layers. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my first layer here. And I'll pick a uh, blue. And I'm painting little blue dots. I'll work on the second layer here. In this case, I'll paint little X's. And I'm going to go ahead and increase the opacity here so it's a little bit darker for you to see. And I'll do some green ones for this. And you can do this with uh, images from the internet or just regular JPEGs, whatever you want to do. Anything that you can get into a layer, you can basically create a brush out of. Okay. So once I have all those layers created, you want to go ahead to the layer pullout menu here. And you want to just go ahead and select all layers and then group. Once you have them in this little group here, you want to go back to this little menu that showed the image hose brushes. Click on that, click on the secondary little arrow here, the sub menu, and click on make nozzle from group. And it's going to show you this really weird screen that um, at first may scare you, the black background. This looks nothing like what I had here on this other window. Uh, don't worry about it. This is not the way the image hose brush is going to work when you actually start working on it. This is this, this way of painter basically making sense of what you did. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, then go ahead and save this. So I'm going to save this and I'm just going to save it on my desktop to, uh, to make sense of it all and I can find it very easily and uh, I'm not even going to spell anything out. There we go. That's my image hose brush that I made. I don't like spelling. And I just want to save it as the, um, uh, the default uh, format uh, RIF. Um, you have all these to choose from and, uh, and Painter. Just go ahead and leave it on RIF. And then click uh, Save. And it's saved to the desktop. And you can go ahead and I'm going to open up a new document here. I've got a new page to work off of. And then I'm going to go back to my image hose brush. I'm going to go to this little menu here, the same menu for the image hose brushes. Click on the secondary arrow again, and then I'm going to load nozzle. And then it's going to ask me which, you know, where do you want to get this nozzle from? I happen to save mine on the desktop. You can have the option of saving them here. 
I've found too many glitches. Either I'm not doing it correctly or I don't know what's going on. So I save them elsewhere on my desktop or my jump drive, whatever. And this is the brush that I created today. Go ahead and click on that. Click on open and give it some time to open it up. And once you have that, go ahead and click, uh, make sure you're on the image hose brush and then we can start uh, painting with the brush that we made. And you can create all sorts of brushes here. I'll go ahead and kind of show you a couple that I've created. So I have my doll head brush that I created, a sausage brush, and these were just created with uh, images. I just got off the internet and made several layers of them, different sizes. Uh, different angles and this is my hate brush I just wrote the word hate a bunch of times and so I can paint a picture with hate yes my lovely hate brush this is my paisley pattern brush that I created I have a couple of these and this is my other paisley brush that I created And that, that's how you create your own image hose brush. Uh, in the next tutorial, image hose brush two, I can show you some of the ones that are already preloaded here and some interesting things you can do with it. Um, this tutorial is just a basic uh, on how you actually construct your own. That's it.